Hey, hey, everybody, and welcome to my channel, T Draw Magic Tarot. Yeah, yeah. Here to do a reading for my J -J Gemini. My Gemini's. What's going on, Gemini? Cross Watcher, high vibes. Everyone here is welcome and love. Let me tell y'all, this is my fourth time trying to record this video. I guess whoever doesn't want me to get it out, I don't know. I mean, we're going to see what's in it, but I do. Okay, let me just get the home keeping things out of the way. Thank you, new subscribers. Thank you, day one returning family and cross watchers. Everyone here is loved and welcome. I'm grateful for all your support and your likes and your subscribes and all of that good stuff, Gemini High Vibe Cross Watchers. Thank you and more thank you. Now, this is a general message. It is not going to resonate with each and every one or nobody. So only take what fits and leave the rest. Don't force anything that's not yours, okay? So choir, come on to the front. <clears throat> this is like my fourth time singing the Gemini song and it's just cutting off. Oh Lord, we gonna see what, well this is another, I use another device, fuck that other device. Okay, so anyway, one, two, three, oh, T-Girl, T-Girl, magic and collective. T-Girl, 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 magic and collective. T-Girl, T-Girl, magic and collective. Come check us out and see what we're about. We are Gemini, 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 Gemini. We sing Gemini, 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 Gemini. Gemini, we are Gemini, 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 Yay! Okay! You guys, there is a masculine energy. Now, it could be a feminine, her masculine energy for my guys. So just take the energies. You know how we do new subscribers, okay? The energy is fluid. It's, it, when I say he, and it's a she, if it's a she or vice versa, just take the energies and flip it because in tarot, there is no gender. But we say that for our carnal minds, you know what I mean? So we can get that energy. So all the things are is energy. It could be a feminine operating in a masculine energy. Or it could be, or it could be a, a masculine shit, okay? Or vice versa. Anywho, there is a masculine though. For me, it's a masculine energy. Now, for my man, it could be a female in her masculine energy. But this, I feel in my heart, is a masculine. Uh, once, a once, a once upon a time divine masculine that got demoted and lost their way. <laughs> That's not funny. Um. Yeah, it could be a Leo, Divine Masculine. Now this person wants to come and work things out with you, but it's too late to apologize. They want to work things out after the fact that shit died and you don't have no more feelings for them. Okay, they are depressed. They're sad. From the readings that I got, because I was like 13 minutes in and I was like, I don't feel like, and then it just cut off. And I'm like, I don't feel like doing all that extra. So I'm going to start all over on another, another device and if it comes out, but I am going to tell y'all that's what that energy is. You have someone because... I got anxious and, and 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 had anxiety for no reason. I'm like, bitch, where is this energy coming from? This is never my energy. I have nothing to be anxious about or nervous or worried. Whose energy is this? Whose energy? That's what you need to do when you wake up every morning or whatever. If say, for instance, you're doing fine. And then all of a sudden you feel anxious for no reason. That is someone thinking about you or either projecting negative energies towards you. So you need to stop, drop, and roll and acknowledge where that shit is coming from. Are you feeling this way? Why are you anxious? If everything around you is going right and there's nothing wrong, then why is the anxiety? Where is the anxiety coming from? Because see, peace, somebody's playing in your energy and you have to realize the projections of energy, how that can change you and your manifesting. Because if you're and if you're anxious all the time and you're all stressed out and worried about, you know, feeling lack, that's gonna be cross countering the abundance. So somebody's trying to fuck with your abundance, is what I'm saying. And so don't get into that lack mind poverty. You scared. No God is abundant. He will always provide. I don't give a fuck what goes down. Like I said in my last other readings, put God first. I promise you. I promise you. You will never fail. Something will always come up. Something will always get. That's just how God works. You a chosen one, and you're as long as you're doing your right thing and you're doing on your right path and you're believing and trusting and you are being obedient to spirit, that's your boss. 
then it doesn't fucking matter what who's trying to project. Now, if you, if that's why it says keep your mind on God at all times and he'll keep you in perfect peace. Because if your mind is anything else, you're creating other things than harmony and peace and joy, if that's making sense, okay? Um, so this masculine energy is really, really ticked off nervous and anxious and everything like i said it could be a leo because and the and they had walked away from their their earth angel which is you gemini they walked away from you and now they want to come back and give you some type of equal give and take but i was picking up though and i did pick up just fyi you have an auntie i don't know what type of auntie the mature woman did come out because i used this deck first and she's holding on to some of your money possibly an inheritance something Okay, and they're not giving it up. There's an argument that broke out possibly with a family or some people, three people about this inheritance. Yeah, because somebody's being greedy and smug and holding on all to your inheritance, baby. Okay, just FYI. But don't worry because God is going to work that out too. The spirit say, yeah, God's going to work that out too. And you're going to get your inheritance, okay? But God just wants you to know, don't worry about it. Even if you knew about it or didn't know about it, don't worry about it. He just wants you to be aware. Everything done in the dark will be in the light, okay? But he's got it and he's going to balance out that damn thing, okay? You're going to end up getting the motherfucking, because you're the chosen, you're the golden one right here. Whoever this was, we don't know who that is. She need to heal, because this is a heal as well. They need to heal, and they're, you're, God's going to give you, because God's the authority with that red, you know what I mean? This is material... You're going to get the inheritance, baby. Okay? Yeah. And anyway, what else, Holy Spirit? Tell me why is this masculine energy angry, sad, anxious, upset? Why they think? Yeah, because they you don't want to reconcile with their ass. And they're going through a heavily burden. Yeah, because, yeah, you dropped their, yeah, you you got rid of their ass. You don't want their ass no more. You made the judgment call to change it all. Okay? This person's exposed. You owe, Yeah, you don't want a new beginning with them. They're heavily burdened because they really want to have sex with you so, so bad, but you like, fuck you, okay? And they want to communicate that they want to bring balance to you. They want to go down your way now. And the thing is, it's like, no, you don't want them to go down your way. You want them to go down the opposite direction, still on the road to healing, but just not on your path because you guys have two different, you have a different path than this person, period. And they backstabbed and betrayed you, so the trust is completely broken and it's not just one time or two times or three times it's possibly over 10 times in 10 different ways that they backstabbed and betrayed you so enough is enough you said and so you call judgment on this motherfucker yes and so now they're heavily burning because they want to come in and get a new beginning they want to message you they want a new beginning but i feel this is sex and something's wrong with this man's wand because he's been carrying so many wands on his back on his back we don't know what has been going on okay mm -mm, i'm just saying and you might get some type of message from yeah you might get a message from i don't know a sagittarius energy he wants to come out and message you in reconciliation which and bring some type of balance because we do have the ones out here with the temperance okay they want to unbreak your heart and they want you to say you love them again. Bitch, shut up. Now, after they backstabbed and betrayed you and kept you stuck for a little bit? No, that's not how it worked. So, Spirit, what, look, they all in their head and stressed out that anxiety. And I never get anxiety. I always send that shit back to the sender a hundredfold. Yeah, because they know they they got a tower. They Whatever this tower, Spirit, what is the tower, though? Them reconciling with you. Okay, because there's, why are they so stressed out though? I'm confused. What the hell are they going through that they so damn stressed out that they can't move forward and with their own life? I'm just thrown off. Money, <laughs> money, money. You the money, but you, you, money bag, money bag, money bag. Okay, money bag, money bag, money bag. And they are imbalanced with money and mentality and emotions and you're blocking them. And by you blocking them and rejecting this person is their karma. The will has turned. I don't know if this person thought you was going to wait for him for a lifetime, but you, oh, fuck that. You done ixnade they ass out. Ixnade. Ixnade. Okay. Ixnade. Oh, yeah. You, ix, you cut off this ten of cups because that's how they look at you now. Mm, they want to come in and fight for this now or they might try to start some shit or whatever the case may be mm -mm, to get this ten of pentacles with you this person needs to move on spirit please they need to move on 
They, they're money hungry. They're greedy. They're just a very low vibrational energy, Gemini. Like I said in the other reading, you hooked up with a loser. A loser is not going to understand. They're so used to losing. That's all they do. Even when they want to win with you and they're still losing, okay? They're still losing at the end of the day. Not, you know, because you are you don't want them back. You call judgment on the situation. You've gone through your own transformation and elevation and you don't want this energy back no more because after you left them, and moved on and cut their ass out of your life. You got a brand new beginning. You got this Ten of Cups wish fulfillment. So everything you touch turns to glitter gold. It's like you're a unicorn just farting out fairy dust everywhere. Just causing all these miracles. And yeah, and this man wants, our woman wants to fight for this now. For this Ten of Pentacles. This is a money hungry ass, lazy yeah, they're young-minded. They're very immature, okay? They could be an older person. They don't have to be, but they're over 30. I know that. And they're immature. And, and they just, in their emotions, they don't know how to communicate. They don't know. I don't know what happened. Maybe something stopped for them. Maybe they were broken. Maybe something happened. I don't know. Maybe a maybe a religious or a father or parental figure. I don't know what happened, okay? Something childhood wounding blocked them somehow, some way. And now they wanna come to you. Oh my God, but they this person don't think that the ending is over. It's over, you done walked away, Gemini, with the end card, I mean, the world card, the eight of cups, and you're celebrating and you're happy. And this person wants to come in and interrupt your peace, Queen of Swords, Empress energy because you're healing and you're healed and you're on a platform and you have many options. Maybe you have a lot of suitors. This person jealous and they just trying to, I don't know what the hell. Spirit, why does Gemini need to know this? So anyway, what's going on? Okay, so Gemini don't want them no more. They're going through a tower because they know Gemini going to reject their ass or high vibe or whoever. Okay, they're heavily burdened because you're receiving a Ten of Cups energy, wish fulfillment. You are possibly getting another family unit or another family or relationship or a happy situation. You're getting good sex, really, really good sex. Okay, yeah, some of you are getting married in another relationship. Okay, I've been picking that up because Divine made the judgment call already to send this person in. It's a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio energy in. Okay, this is your will of fortune and the will has turned in your favor. So if you've been celibate and single and all that, and you just hooked up with your booski, you guys are having an amazing sex. Yes, and some of y'all about to have a, 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 a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio child. Okay, I heard the fuck out of that. Yes, with your king of pentacles. Child, is somebody feeling defeated? Mm-hmm, this person's just stressed out because you're working with somebody else at the end of the day. Yep, you're holding back from this person and you're working with your new boo and they're stressed out. Now, I did pick up to... That whoever's trying to come back, they're in poverty and they're facing some type of jail time because either the person that they got with, they're an embezzler or they're facing jail or either they're getting evicted and then, oh yeah, so the person that they got with is facing jail and who's paying the bills? Yeah, nobody's paying the bills. So then they're, they were coming towards you in the poverty card, okay, because you have the coin bag, like I said, over here. They're looking to figure out, oh my God, but they're thinking about how I backstabbed and betrayed you and caused all this ruckus and chaos and all you were trying to do is balance out things. So are you going to take me back? And the answer is fuck no, because you have the seven of swords, I mean the seven of wands right here with the four of cups. You made judgment call and that's bringing a tower to this person. They're all in their head about it. So either for some of y'all, they, they left over there. The person they went to is a, I don't know, a white collar crime person or whatever. They got their money illegally. They got, they went to jail. Okay. And now nobody's there to pay the bills. This person's lazy and they don't like to work and shit. So who's paying the bills exactly? And, or they went over, um, they got into an argument. So they're not with this person no more. And this person kicked them out because they the change card had came out. This is in the other readings that before it cut all off. The change card came. So she kicked the person out of the house because he had to move all his shit into the car. And so he's looking at you because you had the family room available because you have a place to sleep and a bite to eat available. Okay. And they look at you as the Queen of Cups energy, but they left you because they possibly though they had you in a third party and with a baby mama. Or either got the pres person pregnant, but the person went to jail or something happened in that home situation where they ain't there no more. And this person can't really provide or stand on their own two feet. And so they want to come to you. That, yeah, that's really the real reason, okay? 
So what else, spirit, besides all of that? So they want to come to you in poverty, but you blocking them. Like, you like, hell no, because you, no, you know they're a hobosexual. Okay, I learned that word. I, I was like, wow, that's crazy. Yeah, because they, you're the queen of cups, and here they come with this bit, this shit. How the night going to come to the queen? Just even that, you don't compare to this. Okay, yeah, they're coming to you. And, and then in the king of wands energy, like an emperor, but they offering, yeah, Gemini, you're going to leave it out in the cold. But the reason they're doing that is because they're homeless, Gemini. They are. They want to offer you some type of marriage. I don't know. This is a, a opportunity. They see you as stable with the queen of pentacles energy. And they're stuck and coming for where from I'm from, I'm from. This person has already backstabbed you, but they look at you as you'll take my shit. Anything that I dish out to you, you'll take me back. And that's like, you said, oh, fuck you. This is where the Queen of Cups comes in with the Four of Cups. It's like, I'm not taking that shit back. You got me fucked up. Yep. And so you made judgment call. So I don't know if this person gets you your house, child. What's going to happen, spirit? Look, he's going to take action. He is going to take action towards you. Okay. What else, spirit? He's under judgment right now, too. Ooh, what's going on, spirit? What's going on? So they're going to, yeah, I'm a G Gemini, they're coming towards you. They stressed out over about you because of whatever this tower is or backstab, betrayal, whatever words they spoke. Yeah, they wish they could take it back. I wish I never said it. They said some funky bullshit. You called judgment right then, there immediately because it was exposed to you. You saw who this person really, truly was. And then you laid that shit down to rest. So this person fucked up to the point of no return. To the point, and I heard you told they asked to never return when they left. But now they want an equal give and take because you got that coin bag. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're coming to travel towards you. Some of them, yeah, for a car or something. They're going to get to your house drunk. Something weird. Something weird, Gemini. Mm -mm. What else, Spirit? They're coming towards you, though. They made a judgment call. They want to move forward. So how? J j with lies. With lies. And they're looking back at something, what they left behind. What did they leave behind? Ooh, they, hold on now. Hold on. <gasps> oh, wow. Wait a minute. <coughs> much right now y'all i never expected this but you already know this cuz you already know it somebody is pickle lickle boo dickle mm, mm, mm. pickle lickle boo dickle mm, 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 mm. pickle lickle boo dickle and i'm not trying to make fun of it but i mean they lying about it yeah that's why you ended the cycle too for a lot of y'all that was a secret that they was hiding that they pickle lickle boo dickle okay and they have they they've been in relationship with this king of wands or King of Cups energy for years, at least six years or more. Ooh, they possibly, ooh, wait a minute. Uh, they need someone, please call 911. I don't know what the hell happened. There's too many motherfucking people in here. You know there's too many people in here, Gemini High Vibe. You know there's way too many people caught up. You over here manifesting your best life, not even paying attention. You blocking out all this shit. You got Archangel Michael over here protecting you from every damn thing from this tower. Child, you got this liar trying to come back to you. He looking at this King of Wands energy. And for some of y'all, I'm getting mixed energy. Oh my God, I got to do one thing at a time, Spirit. I can't be picking up all this extra, okay? You got a King of Wands that's like, bitch, no, I'm going to get Gemini before you get him, bitch. And you got a liar coming towards you. He's like, no, I'm going to beat you to the punch, bitch. But you already know. There's a King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Oh my God. And then the Queen of Cups energy. What the hell is this, Spear? What is um what is what is this? Tell me what this is. It's a it's okay. It's a it's a it's a, a Sagittarius Scorpio. This King of Cups is Scorpio, anyway. And they are a high priestess. Spirit is telling me that is for some of y'all your two, your ten of cups. What the, how did that get in here, Spirit? Um, okay, so you have two different energies. You got an air sign, and then you have a Sagittarius Scorpio cusper wanting a new beginning, looking at this King of Wands like, no, you're not going to make it because this King of Wands, I don't know, he doing magic and shit. Both of them doing magic. I don't know what the fuck is going on. You single and abundant. You ain't even paying these bitches no attention. Yeah, you got an air sign coming in, charging all quick, and you got a motherfucking fire sign coming in, charging all quick with this commitment. So I don't know what the fuck just happened. Spirit, okay, the air sign is the one who is stressed out over this tower, Gemini, over you, that you see them as a liar and you don't want to reconcile with them. Even though they might try to beat this King of Wands to the punch, 
you're not going to pick this funky ass air sign. You're going to possibly, I don't know, you may not pick any, neither of them, okay? Truth be told, yeah, you just might move to Cumber Waters. They're going to offer you a fucking commitment and you're going to be like, nah, because I'm good. For some of y'all, y'all ain't going to accept none of it and you're just going to invest in yourself. Yeah, and then some of y'all are going to invest in the Sagittarius and get a new beginning because this is your justice, okay? Yep, this is your emperor. This is your two of cups, lovers, ace of cups energy. Yeah, and he's stressed out about it. He want to take a leap of faith. So what's the problem? Okay, spirit, so what's going on between this king of wands and air sign energy? Okay, so they battling each other to get you. Okay, this took a turn. Are this, is this why this air sign stressed out? Spirit, okay, because it's going to fit different for everybody, okay? Is this why this air sign is stressed out? Yeah, because this a fire sign is about to give you equal give and take, and he going to take some action towards your ass. Or, like I said, somebody was in jail, so maybe somebody going to get out of jail. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what this is. Oh, I don't know. But yeah, this Sagittarius is going to come quickly to give you, make an offer to you, Gemini, and that's going to cause a tower, and that's why this air sign stressed out about it. Yeah, because... He's a king of pentacles energy. And this motherfucker's is an irrational, emotional page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're going to work on it with the Sagittarius. Yeah, you are Gemini. And you're going to heal something with the Sagittarius energy. So, I mean, I don't know where I was going. Yeah. Because the king of swords tried to cause a whole bunch of illusion, confusion to the Sagittarius trying to come forward and heal things with you. Because this king of wands is, you are the... You are the queen of wands. This is your counterpart, okay? Both of y'all some magical un unicorns, you beings and everything. And somebody is in regret because they tried to hold somebody back from you. Oh, so the Sagittarius could be in regret. Because this is this King of Cups energy, possibly Sagittarius, Scorpio energy. And they're in regret that they, should, they held back from offering something to you and then you walked away. So now, and then you became very successful or whatever, and now they want to come in and fix some shit while this air sign is feeling defeated because you're going to close the cycle with their ass because you don't want to work with them. And I'm going to end reading right there, Gemini. That, that was crazy. I didn't know that was going to go like that. But okay, anyways, for somebody, you guys, so you got a decision to make. You got an air sign and a Sagittarius. King of Pentacles is in here somewhere. Lord have mercy. And him immature too. He, You have an immature King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Child, they trying to drop they, they boudicky ways for you. I'm just saying, they just trying to drop their boudicky ways for you because, you know, you're just a heterosexual one person person. You know what I mean? You're not for those streets. And so this king of cups in the reverse, this emotional manipulator, you know, whatever person, they could be a high priestess and stuff trying to maybe, maybe they didn't even want me to tell you, manipulate the energies to get this new beginning, but... That's not working because you got Archangel Michael blocking every damn thing over here. Right next up to your side, Gemini, causing these towers to these motherfuckers. So I guess I guess Archangel Michael is on the Sagittarius' side. Yeah, that's what Spirit said. Archangel Michael is rooting for the Sagittarius. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, this King of Pentacles wants for you got too many motherfuckers in your shit, Gemini. I don't know. They all want to heal. Is it because you on the platform and you got options and shit? I don't know. Okay, Gemini, look at you sitting on your shit. Okay, or you could be a public, you know, a famous lawyer, judge, whatever the case may be. You got a fire sign that thinks you're hot. Okay, because you stand in your truth, you speak your shit. You're you're powerful as fuck. Okay, and you're being cold right now. So somebody want to come warm you up, baby. They want to warm you up. It could be this air sign, but yeah, they think you sexy as fuck. And they crying over you about this new beginning. You about to go reconcile with a fucking fire sign, Gemini. I'm sorry. You are not. I'm not sorry, but it is what it is. This air sign, that's the stress that I felt. All right, babies, I end your reading. I love you so much. I hope this has helped. And we're going to see what the, what's going on with the Sagittarius. We're going to do another reading where, okay, well, if you get with the Sagittarius, what's going on? Or what's going to happen with this air sign. You know what I mean? So, yeah. All right, Gemini. See you in the next video. I love you. Bye.